Hi guys, my name is Melissa and in today's video we're going to be talking and learning about skip counting. And so I know that a lot of you guys know skip counting um, based on like skip counting by twos, threes, fours. So like two, four, six, eight, ten, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. 2024. But in today's video, we're going to do skip counting by fractions. And so let's look at an example problem. And so, and so before we go into skip counting for fractions, let's just do a little recap on what skip counting is. So if we skip count by twos, and if and we start at zero, then it's going to be zero, two, four, six, eight, and so on. So we add two every time we move on to the next number. What happens if we start at one? Then we skip count by two, so it's going to be one, three, five, seven, and nine. If we start at seven, it's going to be seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and so on. Now, if we skip count by fives, it's gonna and start with zero. It's gonna be zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. If we start at two, it's gonna be two, seven. Uh, add five, so twelve, seventeen, twenty-two, and so on. If we skip count by eights and we start at one, it's gonna be one, nine, seventeen. And then 25 and so on. Now these are when the skip we're skip counting by whole numbers. But now we're gonna skip count by fractions. So what does that change? Now for example, we can skip count by one tenth. So if we start at zero, our next term is gonna be one tenth, add one ten again. And then it's going to be two tenths. Then it's going to be three tenths, four tenths, and so on. Now, if we're skip counting by one fifth and we start at zero, it's going to be one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, and so on. And also, it's always nice to simplify when you can. So we can simplify two fifth into one fifth and four tenth into two fifth. And so yeah, that is going to be the general idea of skip counting for fractions. It says write the next four numbers in the skip counting pattern below. Then rewrite the pattern with the numbers in the simplest form. So we can tell that for every skip, we're adding one tenth. So it's going to be four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, and seven tenths. But then it wants us to write in the simplest form. So four tenths, we can divide both numerator and denominator by two. So we can rewrite that as two fifths. 5 tenth can be re rewritten as 1 half. 6 tenth can be written as 3 over 5. And so, yeah. Um, we'll check with the answers. So we have, oh, we can also rewrite 2 over 10 as 1 over 5. And so it's going to be 1 over 10, 1 over 5, 3 over 10, 2 over 5, 1 half. 3 fifth and 7 over 10. And so we'll now solve some practice problems. And so it says count by 11th starting at 1 over 11. So basically what we're doing is we're doing skip counting by 11th. So it's 1 over 11, 2 over 11, 3 over 11, 4 over 11, 
5 over 11, 6 over 11, and 7 over 11. And then for the next question, it says count by 8 starting at 1 8. So it's going to be 4 over 8, 5 over 8, 6 over 8, and 7 over 8. And then now we have to simplify this. So we can simplify by 1 over 8, and then for 2 over 8, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So it can be written as 1 over 4, then 3 over 8, and then for 4 over 8, we can divide the numerator and denominator both into 4, so that can give us 1 over 2. Then we have 5 over 2, 6 over 2, again, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2's. So that gives us 3 over 4, and we have 7 over 8. And then problem 81 says count by 9th starting at 4 over 9. And so we start by 4 over 9, but we're skip counting by 1 over 9 or one ninth. So we're skip counting, so we're adding one over nine every time we move down. So we have seven over nine, eight over nine, nine over nine, and ten over nine. And to simplify, um, we can do four over nine, five over nine, and for 6 over 9, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. So we get 2 over 3. And we have 7 over 9. And then we have 8 over 9. 9 over 9 is going to be considered 1. And 10 over 9 if we write it in mixed number, which we learned last time, 10 over 9 can be written as 9 over 9 plus 1 over 9. So it's going to be 1 and 1 ninth. Now we're going to move on to our next problem. So it says count by fourth starting at 3 over 4. Now again, even though we're starting at 3 over 4, um, we're skip counting by one fourth, so we're adding one fourth every time. And so it's going to be six over four, seven over four, eight over four. And notice since our denominator is the same, we're only um, changing the numerator. So we get to nine over four. And when we simplify, we get a three over four, one. And 5 over 4, again, using the mixed number strategy, 5 over 4 can be expressed as 4 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which is 1 and 1 fourth. So we can write that as 1 and 1 fourth. Then we have 7 over 4, which is 4 over 4. We have 6 over 4 first. So 6 over 4 can be written as 4 over 4 plus 2 over 4. And that is going to be 1 plus 1 half. So it's going to be 1 and 1 half. Then we have 7 over 4, which is 4 over 4 plus 3 over 4. So it's going to be 1 and 3 fourths. And then we have 8 over 4, which is 2. And then we have 9 over 4, which is going to be 8 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So it's going to be 2 and 1 fourths. Now we're going to look at problem 83. So it says, complete the skip counting pattern below. And so if you look at the pattern, um, the denominator stays the same, but when we look at the numerator, it adds by 2. It increases by 2. 
the same thing happens from 5 over 12 to 7 over 12. We add 2 over 12. So basically, we're skip counting. by two twelfths, or that's the same thing as skip counting by one six. But since the denominator here is set up to be 12, it's probably easier to use two twelfths to um, constantly write it without simplifying for now. And so now that we have identified the skip counting pattern, I want you guys to try and think of what would go in the blank boxes, and then also try to um, simplify the results after you're done. So I'll give you guys about one minute and if you guys need more time always just feel free to pause the video and come back and after a minute I'll be going over the solution with you guys. Give me 9 over 12, 11 over 12, 13 over 12, and then 15 over 12. And now we're going to simplify. So 3 over 12, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So we get 1 over 4, and we have 5 over 12, 7 over 12. 9 over 12, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So we get 3 over 4, 11 over 12, and 13 over 12 is going to be considered 12 over 12 plus 1 over 12, so it's going to be 1 and 1 twelfths. And then we get 12 over 12 plus 3 over 12, so it's going to be 1 and 1 fourths. Now we're going to take a look at 80, problem 84. And so the denominator stays the same, 35, and the numerator changes by 1. So we know that we're skip counting by 1 over 35. And so it's going to be 5 over 35, 6 over 35, 7 over 35, and 8 over 35. And it says to write in the simplest form. So we know that 5 over 35 can be written as 1 over 7. And 7 over 35 can be written as 1 over 5. Now we're going to look at problem 85. So now we're going from 1 6 to 1 3, 1 third. And now if we look at the denominator, the denominator has changed. And so still, um, to compare the two numbers, since we have 1 6, we're going to rewrite 1 3rd so, so that the denominator is 6. And so basically we're using the strategy we used from the previous video where we find equivalent fractions. So if we want to make the denominator a 6, we multiplied a 2 to the denominator. And so we're also going to multiply 2 to the numerator. And so 2 6 is going to be the same thing as 1 third. And so if you look, we're basically adding 1 6. So we're skip counting by 1 6. And 1 third is 2 over 6. So this is going to be 3 over 6, which can be simplified into 1 half. Then that's 3 over 6, so we add 1 over 6 once more, that gives us 4 over 6. And when we um, divide both the numerator and denominator by 2, that gives us 2 over 3. And then adding, and 2 over 3 is basically 4 over 6. And if we add 1 over 6, that gives us 5 over 6. And then add 1 over 6 again, that gives us 6 over 6, or 1. 
And so eventually the next one is going to be 1 and 1 over 6, which translates to 7 over 6. Now we're going to do the same thing here, but now we're going to match the denominator as 15. So 1 over 3, to have the denominator become 15, we multiplied 5. And then for 3 over 5 to become a fraction with a denominator of 15, we multiply 3 to the denominator. So we're also going to multiply 3 to the numerator. And so 3 times 3 is going to be 9. And so from 5 over 15 to 9 over 15, we added 4 over 15. And from 9 over 15 to 13 over 15, we also added 4 over 15. And so what this tells us is that in this problem, we're skip counting by 4 over 15. And so doing that is going to give us 17 over 15, 21 over 15, 25 over 15, and 29 over 15. Now that we wrote everything down in proper um, in fraction form, we're now going to try to simplify. And so 17 over 15 can be thought of as 15 over 15 plus 2 over 15. So that's going to be 1 and 2 fifteenths. So that's going to be a mixed number. To be 1 and 2 fifteenths. And then for 21 over 15, that's going to be 15 over 15 plus 6 over 15. So that's going to be 1 over 6 fifteenths. Oh, and also on um, that is going to be 1 and 6 fifteenths. But for 6 fifteenths, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So that's going to be 1 over 2 fifths. So it's going to be 1 and 2 fifths, not 1 over 2 fifths, sorry. So that's going to be 1 and 2 fifths as a mixed number. Then we have 25 over 15. And so that is going to be 15 over 15 plus 10 over 15. And so that's going to be 1 plus, um, if we divide both the numerator and denominator by 5, 2 over 3. So it's going to be 1 and 2 thirds. And finally, for 29 over 15, that's going to be 15 over 15 plus 14 over 15. So that is just going to be 1 and 14 over 15. And we're going to move on. So um, we finished talking about fractions, skip counting. And so now we're going to learn about a game-ish kind of concept called Maze Escape. So in the mazes below, you begin at the shaded number, and then you follow a skip counting pattern to escape through the exit. So using the skip counting strategy we just learned, we can only move up, down, left, or right, or to the next, um, or right to the next number, not diagonal. And so to get kind of like a general idea of how to play this maze escape, we're gonna solve an example problem together. Together, so it says, find the path from the shaded square to the exit, to the exit. And so it says, we begin at the shaded square marked one eighth. And then we try to escape at the exit above the square marked 
29 over 8. And so we can move up, down, left, or right. And so if we move down to 5 over 8, we've made a jump of 4 eighths. And so we can tell that because the difference between 5 over 8 and 1 over 8 is going to be 4 eighths. And so, um, we can continue adding 4 eighths to escape the maze. So it's going to be 9 over 8, and then add 4 again, so it's going to be 13, 17, 21, 25, and 29, like so. And so we have kind of created our escape path. And so no other path in this case is an escape route. And so for example, if we'd moved to 3 over 8, so we went to the left side instead of going down, we would try to continue adding 2 eighths to escape the mass until to escape the maze. But then no square above, below, or beside 7 over 8 contains 9 over 8. So that would not be a good escape route. And so now we're going to solve our own escape. Uh, now we're going to try to escape our mazes now using some practice problems. And so in problem 87, we're going to start with... 1 over 20 that's shaded, and then our exit is going to be at 19 over 20. And so we can go this way, we can go four ways, but I'm going to choose to try and go upwards. And when I go up, the difference between 3 over 20 and 1 over 20, and so we would have to skip count by 2 over 20, and so my next move would have to be 5 over 20, 7 over 20, 9 over 20, 11 over 20, 13 over 20, 15 over 20, and 17 over 20. And then I would get to 19 over 20. So that was a correct escape route. Now I have problem 88. And so we're starting from this shaded 9 over 11. And we're trying to escape to 75 over 11. And so again, we have four different possible ways of going. But then to get to 75, we probably want to take, uh, we want to go to the left first. So the difference between 15 over 11 and 9 over 11 is going to be 6. And so that means that we're going to skip count by 6 over 11. So after 15 over 11, we should get to 21 over 11. Then 27 over 11, add 6 over 11 again. So that's going to be 33 over 11, 39 over 11, 45 over 11, 51 over 11, 57 over 11, and then... We're going to go to 63 over 11, and then we're going to add 6 over 11 once more. And so that's going to get us to 69 over 11, and ultimately get to 75 over 11. Now we're going to move on to the next page. So we have some more... Um, puzzles and it says some of the fractions on this page have been simplified or converted to mixed numbers which complicates things a bit more so we're starting from 18 over 13 and we want to get out through 102 over 13 and so for that to happen we want to first start by going down and so the difference between 24 over 13 and 18 over 13 is 6 over 13 and so 
And so we're going to skip count basics over 13. So our next move would be to go through, go to 30 over 13. Then we're going to add 6 over 13 once more. So we're going to go up. Then to 42 over 13. Add 6, so it's now 48 over 13. Add 6, so it's 54 over 13. Add 6 to 60 over 13. 66 over 13. Then we add 6 again, so 72 over 13. 78 over 13. Add 6, so 84 over 13. And then add 6 to there, so that gives us 90 over 13. 96 over 13, and then we can get to 102 over 13 and exit. So we found our path, even though it was it was still a little complicated. Now we're going to look at problem 90. So we're starting from 61 over 19. And so we're going to start by going to the right side. And you guys can also try to go upwards to the left or downwards. But you guys will notice that um, as time passes, um, you'll realize that the path doesn't work. And so instead of doing the guess, um, instead of doing the trial and error myself, I want you guys to try the trial and error process yourselves by pausing the video. And I'll just be going over the correct solution with you guys so that you guys can understand why this path is a solution. So from 64 over 19 to 61 over 19, the difference is 3 over 19. So our next move would have to be 67 over 19 since we can only skip count by 3 over 19. Then we're going to go to 70 over 19, add 3 over 19, add 3 over 19, add 3 over 19 again, and then add 3 over 19. So we get to 82 over 19, add 3 over 19, add 3 over 19, and then add 3 over 19 again. So we get to 91 over 19, then we're going to add 3 over 19 again. So we get to 94 over 19, then 97 over 19. And then, yeah, we can exit through that hole. Now we're going to look at problem 91. And so now problem 91 is a little more complicated because we have mixed fraction, mixed numbers now. So 6 and 2 thirds. We have 6 and 2 thirds and we have our exit at 14. And so... If we go this way, um, we're going from twenty over thirty to twenty-two over three. So we're going from twenty over three to twenty-two over three. So we're basically skip counting by two over threes, and so seven and one third can be we written as 22 over 3. So when we skip count again by 2 over 3, that's going to give us 24 over 3 or 8. And then 8 plus 2 over 3 is going to be here. Then we add 2 over 3 again, which is going to be 9 and 1 third. Then we add 2 over 3 again, which is going to give us 10. Add 2 over 3. Add 2 over 3 again, so that gives us 11 and 1 third. Add 2 over 3 to get 12. 12 and 2 over 3. Add 2 over 3 again, so 13 and 1 over 3. Then we add 2 over 3 again to get 14, and then we can exit. Now we have problem 92. Again, uses small, um, again uses mixed numbers. We want to start with 2 and 4 over 7, 
that can be written as 18 over 7. And we exit through 7 and 5 over 7, which is 54 over 7. Now for problem 92, we first want to go to this side, to 3. And 3 is 21 over 7, so the difference is going to be 3 over 21. So 3 over 21 plus 21 over 7, or 3, is going to be 24 over 7. And 24 over 7 is going to be 3 and 3 sevenths. So it's going to go upwards. Then if we add... Um, if we add 3 sevenths again, it's going to be 3 and 6 sevenths. Now if we add 3 sevenths again, it's going to be 4 and 2 sevenths. Then add 3 sevenths again, so it becomes 4 and 5 sevenths. Add 3 over 7 again, so it becomes 5 and 1 sevenths. Add 3 over 7 again, so it becomes 5 and 4 sevenths, and then it becomes 6, then it becomes 6 and 3 sevenths, 6 and 6 sevenths, then it becomes 7 and 2 sevenths, 7 and 5 sevenths, and then we can exit. Now we're on problem 93. So we're starting with 8 over 3, and then we're ending with 52 over 9. So the problem here is that we all have different denominators, 3 and 9. So we want to kind of match it up. So I'm going to rewrite all fractions that have a denominator of 3 and 2, a fraction that has a denominator of 9. So I'm just going to rewrite as 24 over 9, 48 over 9, 15 over 9, 45 over 9, and so on. And so the path that we're going to take is basically going to go like this. So we're first going to go down, and so that resulted in difference of 2 over 9. So we have to add 2 over 9 again because it's skip counting, so it becomes 28 over 9. Add 2 over 9, so it becomes 30 over 9. And 30 over 30, we went to 30 over 9. Right, and so, um, oh, um, sorry for the confusion. So that was going to be 24 over 9, since it's 8 over 3. And then we have 26 over 9, so the difference was 2 over 9. And then we'll go, we're going to go to this side, since we added 2 over 9. And then so what happened next was we added 2 over 9 again. So that's going to be 30 over 9. And 30 over 9 can be simplified by dividing into 3 so we can get 10 over, 9, 10 over 3. Then we can add 2 over 9 again. So that's going to give us 32 over 9. Add 2 over 9. Add 2 over 9, add 2 over 9, add 2 over 9, then we're going to add 2 over 9 to get 14 over 3 after simplification. 
then 44 over 9, 46 over 9. Then we have 48 over 9, and then 50 over 9, and we can finally take an escape. Now, this is our last problem of the video. So, there's a mix of many denominators. So, we're going to change all the ones with a denominator of 2 into 4s. So it's going to be 56 over 4, 50 over 4, um, 52 over 4, 15, 30 over 2, or 60 over 4 now. Then we have 54 over 2. Well, 54 over 4, I meant. And 12 can be written as 44 over 4. And so that can be 42 over 4. And 10 over 40, 40 over 4. And so that trend goes on. And so the path that we want to take from the starting point is we want to go down. And so the difference is going to be 17 over... So the difference is going to be 3 over 4. Add 3 over 4 since we're skip counting by 3 fourths now. Then you want to go to the side, add 3 fourths again. Add 3 fourths. Add 3 4, so it's 54 over 4. Then add 3 4, so it's now going to become 57 over 4. Add 3 4, so it becomes 60 over 4. 60 over 4 is 15. Then add 3 over 4 again. Add 3 over 4. And then we're going to go add 3 over 4 once more. And so this is going to be our created path. And so that is it for today's lesson. And if you guys um, have any questions, let me know. But I'll see you guys all in the next video.